relaxation. Relaxation, let's continue our work. And so we, yesterday we stopped question number 19. So today we are going to resume back question number 20. So question number 20 sounds like this. The lead battery commonly used in the car consists of three or six cells connected in the series. The overall chemical equations is shown like this. So you have PB plus PBO2 plus 4H OH plus plus 2SO4 okay, to minus, okay, 2 PBSO4 plus 2 h 2 So what is the EMF of the cell? So in here, you must be very good at choosing which are the suitable half equations uh, to, to make the overall equations for uh, this. So it seems that uh, the the best overall equations here include number four, and last but not least, uh, number four and also number one. Uh, number four and number one. Okay, so number one, you just need uh, to reverse number one because you want PBSO4 to be on the left side. Okay, so you choose number four and number one, so PB plus SO4 to minus, give PBSO4. 2e minus, e not is positive 0 0.31, and then the number 4, PBO2 plus 4H plus plus SO2. Okay. So at the end of the day, uh, when you start to cancel off each other, so you can cancel 2e minus with 2e minus. Okay, so uh, at the end you get PB. Your cell is equals to positive 2.01. So the answer is C. Okay, so this is for number 20. Then we go to number 21. Electrical potential of the half cell is given when the inner of the standard electrical potential at n is the number of electrons transfer when oxidized species change from the species. The e value is zero. Given the E value is equals to zero at equilibrium, so what is the equilibrium constant Kc for the reaction above? So 2Ag plus Zn gives Zn2 plus plus 2Ag. So first of all, you need to calculate what is the inert cell. Huh? So the inert cell in here is positive 0 0.8 minus negative 0 0.76. So you get a positive 1.56 volt. So at equilibrium, you substitute into the Nernst equation. 0 equals to E0 minus 0 0.059 over N log Kc. So you get 0 plus positive 1.56 uh, volt minus 0 0.059 over 2 log Kc. Lah. So at the end, Kc, you get 7.61 times 10 power of 52 decimeter cube per moment. Okay, so uh, that is for number 21. Very straightforward. Huh? Okay, 22. In the plating chromium into plastic, the cathode is a, is a plastic object coated with graphite. So what is the purpose of the graphite? So the graphite, it is uh, enable the plastic object to act as a... Uh, Plastic is a non-conductor while graphite is a conductor. So it enables the plastic object to act as an electrical conductor. So that's why you add carbon inside there. 23. When the current of 0.4 pass through a molten ionic compound for half an hour, 1.0 times 10 power of negative 2 mole of metal is deposited at the cathode. So what could the metal be? So you have to calculate what is the number of mole of electrons involved. Lah. Okay. So uh, quantity of charge Q equals to IT. So Q equals to 0 0.4 times 0 0.5 times 60 times 60 uh, because half an hour. Okay. Okay. So uh, you get 2880. So 2880, you divide it by 9.6 times 10 power of 4. So you get uh, 2.98 times 10 power of negative 2 mole. Okay. So stoichiometrically, the mole of the metal to is the ratio of the mole of metal to the electron is 1 to 3. Okay. So the metal has a charge of plus 3. Uh. So which among which of the metal could have a plus 3 oxidation state? So of course, uh, iron, chromium, and also scandium. Okay, lead can only have plus two and plus four for your information. Okay, so the best answer in here is one, two, and four. Okay, so that is for number 23. Eh? Okay, number 25, 24, sorry. 
a cell diagram of electrochemical cell is shown. So PV, uh, FPV, FE2+, FE3+, double line, EG+, EG. The EMF of the cell is 0 0.03 under standard condition and, and zero volt at equilibrium, which above the cell is true. So A, the mass of the cathode increase at equilibrium. So uh, in here, uh, ion 2 plus, ion 3 plus, A is cathode, AG plus, AG, A is the uh, cathode. So um, at the end, AG plus will be reduced to AG. So uh, mass of the cathode will increase, correct? So uh, uh, this one, I add the equations eh? so that you can understand. So at, uh, at cathode, AG plus plus E minus e AG. Lah. So uh, you'll be able to see the increase in mass in here. So there is no net transfer of the electron. Okay. So uh, at equilibrium, so the reaction is already complete. Okay. So there, therefore, there is no more electron transfer. Okay. And then uh, in terms of C, the equilibrium constant is three point two two. So you can substitute lah. Zero volt is equal to zero point zero three minus zero point zero five nine over one log KC. So KC is three uh, three point two two. And last but not least, EMF of the cell increase when you add NaCl. So when you add NaCl, the Ag plus will decrease. Why? Because Ag plus will react with the Cl minus to form the white precipitate of the EgCl in here. So when concentration of AgCl decrease, so equilibrium will shift to the left. Lah. So when equilibrium shift to the left, so that is why the EMF of the cell will decrease instead of increase. Okay, so the best answer in here is one, two, and three. Okay, so that is how you answer for question number 24. The next one will be 25. So a 2.0 gram of the silver is deposited when the quantity of electric current passed through an aqueous solution of a silver nitrate. If the same quantity of electricity is passed through anodization of aluminum object, what is the maximum increase in the mass of the object? Okay, okay. so in here, uh, if you still remember that we deduced last time, uh, we said that six electron is to uh, one aluminum oxide. Uh. Okay. So uh, from uh, for one mole of silver, so half or uh, one over four mole of oxygen. So mole of oxygen release will be this one. Okay, uh, I didn't. Okay, so first we calculate the mole of the silver. So two divided by one point eight. So we get four point six three times ten power negative three mole. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so mass of oxygen that form aluminum oxide. is 4.63 times 10 power negative 3 multiplied by 32, you get 0 0.15 in here. Okay, so uh, just uh, follow this calculation for time being. Okay. okay, so that is for 25. Okay, so uh, 26, one of the alloy used in dental filling is AG3SN silver thinner. So standard electro standard reduction potential of the L3 plus AL, SN2 plus uh, AG, SN3, half cell are negative 1.66 and negative 0 0.05 respectively. Which statement is true when a piece of aluminium can in contact with the dental filling? Eh? So the, when aluminium is in contact with dental filling, so the EMF of the cell will be positive 1.61. Eh? Okay? So uh, A is correct. So in this cell, aluminium will act as the anode, hence oxidized to aluminium. Therefore, electron flow from aluminium to the dental filling. So therefore, uh, B and C, uh, B and C are incorrect, okay? And then the tin ion is produced at the end of the day is also incorrect, okay? Okay, so in here, uh, A is the answer for it. Okay, 27. Uh, standard electrode potential for the series of a half cell is given below. Which of the reaction will occur when iron powder is added to the mixture of Cu2 plus, <coughs> Fe2 plus, and Fe3 plus, each having concentration of 1.0 mole? So you need to calculate one by one. So for number one, uh, you have Fe give, <coughs> Fe plus 2 Fe3 plus give uh, 3 Fe2 plus. So E0 cell is equal to 1.21. So Number one is possible because E0 cell is positive, reaction is continuous. 
excuse me. Then number two, Fe plus U2 plus Fe2 plus plus U. So in our cell is positive 0 0.34 plus positive 0 0.44, you get positive 0 0.78, which is also visible. <coughs> excuse me. Okay, number three, Cu plus 2Fe3 plus gives Cu2 plus plus 2Fe. So you have uh, E0 cell is equals to negative 0 0.34 plus positive 0 0.77, get positive 0 0.43, therefore also visible. Excuse me. And last but not least, 3 Cu plus 2 Fe3 plus give 3 Cu2 plus plus 2 Fe. So E0 cell is negative, the reaction is non visible So the answer in here is 1, 2, and 3. Okay, 28. The standard electron potential of the following reaction are given. You have Ag Cl plus E minus give Ag plus, plus E minus. <coughs> E0 is positive 0 0.22. Ag plus plus E minus give Ag. E0 is positive 0 0.8. So what is the numerical value of the E0 value for half cell? So in here, you can see that you need to reverse equation number two right? in order to get the overall equation. So uh, only then you can cancel in between here. So Ag plus cancel with Ag plus. Uh, e minus cancel with E minus. So you get AgCl give Ag plus plus Cl minus. E0 cell is 0 0.5, negative 0 0.58. So um, this is common for precipitate. Uh, okay. So the answer in here is C. Uh, okay. Okay, so that is how you are going to solve for question number 28. Uh. As for 29, uh, Standard electrode potential for several half cells are shown below. You have Fe2 plus Fe, negative 0 0.44. Fe3 plus Fe, zero, negative 0 0.04. Fe3 plus Fe2 plus, positive 0 0.77. And FeCN63 minus and FeCN64 minus 0 0.36. Which of the following statement is true? Number one, Fe2 plus is the strongest reducing agent. So we look for the most negative. Uh, most negative we do, then we look at the left. So instead of iron 2 plus, it is iron that acts as the strongest reducing agent. So one is wrong. FeCN6 3 minus can reduce Fe. So uh, you compare FeCN6 to what's uh, Fe. But in here, Fe, you have two. Uh, it can be number one or number two. So it seems that if you compare to number two, uh, which is Fe3 plus Fe, the reaction is feasible. So number two is correct. FeCN64 minus is less stable than FeCN6, so you compare in terms of the inot value. Okay, so uh, both inot cell is positive, uh, regardless of the Fe2 plus Fe and Fe3 plus. So both equations shows that Fe2 plus is more equals, uh, more stable than FeCN64 minus. Uh, okay, so uh, number three is also correct. And Fe3 plus give Fe2 plus plus three minus, the reaction is non spontaneous. Uh, Okay, so also correct. So uh, the, the answer could be two and three, three and four, uh, C and D are correct. <clears throat> Number four is also correct uh, because the reaction said non-spontaneous. Non-spontaneous. So it can be C, it can be D, two answer in here. Okay. Okay, so that is for question number 29. Okay, then we go to number 30. During electrolysis of a molten chloride, A, 0 0.04 mole of uh, A is produced, while uh, 0 0.04 mole of chlorine gas is produced. So what is the chemical formula of the chloride? So stoichiometrically, you have 0 0.04 mole of A to 0 0.04 mole of chlorine gas, Cl2. Uh. So the ratio of A to Cl is 0 0.04 to 0 0.08. So, uh, Hence, it's one to two because you have diatomic, ma. so diatomic, that's why multiply by two. Ah. Okay, so that is why the answer in here is B. Okay, 31. How many column charge are required to for reduction 0 0.2 of chromium 3 plus to chromium metal? So in here, you have uh, Cl3 plus plus 3 minus give Cr. So uh, mole of electron is 0 0.2 times 3, which is 0 0.06. So Q multiplied by, Q is equals to Faraday constant multiplied by mole of electron, or 9650 times 0 0.06. You get your answer as 5.8 times 10 power of 4 column. Okay. Okay, so that is for 31. 
Then 32, a metal object is to be gold plated by an electrolytic uh, procedure using a gold CN4 minus a gold 3 plus complex as an electrolyte. Calculate the number of mole of the gram for gold deposited in 3 0 minute uh, at the current 10 ampere. So you use Q equals to IT. So you get 1800 column. Then you calculate the mole of electron. Uh, 1,800 divided by 96,500, you get 0 0.0, uh, 1865 mole electron. So since C, uh, gold 3 plus plus 3 minus give gold, so mole of gold is 0 0.006217. So mass of gold, you sit, uh, you will find the relative atomic mass, which is 197, so you get 1.22. Okay, so the answer in here is B. <laughs> Number 33, which creolite? Uh, why is it creolite? Uh? It's mixed with alumina prior the electrolysis of uh, aluminium. So alumina is to reduce the temperature required or to reduce the melting point of the aluminum oxide. Uh. So the answer is donkey D. Very straightforward question, sir. Okay, then we go to 34. A galvanic cell is composed of these two half cells, which the standard reduction potential is shown below. So you have CO2 plus plus 2E minus gives CO E0 is negative 0 0.28. CD2 plus plus 2E minus gives CD E0 is equal to negative 0 0.4. The actual concentration of CO2 plus and CD2 plus are 0 0.100 and 0 0.01 respectively. What is the actual potential of this galvanic cell? So this one you have to use the mean equation. So, uh, in this equation, E cell equals to E naught cell minus 0 0.059 over 2 log uh, cadmium 2 plus uh, product over reactant. Uh, so, eventually, the second equation you have to reverse. Uh, okay? So, uh, E naught cell is equals to negative 0 0.0828 uh, minus negative 0 0.4 minus 0 0.059 over 2 log 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.10. So, at the end, you'll get your E naught cell equals to positive 0 0.15 log. So, the answer in here will be C. 35. A galvanic cell is composed of these two half cells with the standard reduction potential shown below. So the actual concentration of 0 0.100 and the concentration of CD2 plus is unknown. The actual cell potential was measured to be 0 0.16. So calculate the actual concentration of CD2 plus. So basically, you just apply back the same equation. <coughs> By substituting all the value, so 1.6, 0 0.028 minus 0 0.04, minus 0 0.059 divided by 2, log x over 0 0.100. So at the end of the day, after you press your calculator, you get your x equals to 0 0.0044 mole per decimeter cube. Okay, so that is how you solve for question number 35. Then immediately we go to 36. Ethane diuric acid can be oxidized by KMnO4. So the product of this reaction are carbon dioxide, water, and potassium sulfate, manganese 2 sulfate. So in this process, each ethane diuric acid molecule loses two electrons as it's oxidized. The half equation is shown below. So how many water molecules are produced when five ethanoic acid molecules are oxidized by KMnO4 in dilute sulfate acid? So in here you have to uh, look at the overall balance equation. So the overall balance equation will be 2MnO4 plus 6H plus plus 5 uh, ethane dioxide acid give 10 CO2 plus 8H2O plus 2MN2 plus. So uh, when uh, stoichiometrically, when 5 uh, ethane dioxide acid is produced, so 8 water molecule. So the answer in here is 8. 37. Standard hexafluoride XeF6 react with water according to the equation. Which statement is correct? A. Hydrogen is reduced in these reactions. So in here, uh, if you want to check, uh, so uh, you can check properly. So this one will be uh, plus one times two. Ma. This one will be minus two. Ma. So this one is uh, plus one minus one. Ma. So if you, can, you can see clearly that uh, hydrogen does not change its oxidation state. Huh? So number one is wrong. Number two, hydrogen is the on, only element wrong. Okay, The only element oxidized in this reaction is xenon. So xenon in here will be uh, plus six. Huh? Then this one minus one times six. Huh? Okay, And then this one also plus six. So this one is uh, minus three times two. Minus two times three, sorry. Okay, So uh, no changes. Huh? And so the answer is therefore D. This is not a redox reaction. Okay. It's just simply an acid-base reaction. So. Okay, so uh, this is for the question number 37.
Then it goes to 38, a current of 8, .8 MPa is passed through 100 minutes through molten aluminum oxide using inner electrode. So what is the appropriate approximate volume of the gas liberated measured at standard temperature pressure? So uh, Q equals to ID, so you got Q times 8 times 100 times 60. So you get uh, 0.4974 mole. So stoichiometrically, two oxide plus O2 give 4E minus. So mole of O2 is 0 0.1243. So volume under STP, which is 22.4, multiplied by 1243, you get 2.8 decimeter cube. So the answer is A. 39. Which of the following is a product not obtained commercially from the electrolysis of the molten brine? So in a diaphragm cell, uh, the product can be chlorine, hydrogen, and also sodium chloride. So oxygen is not a byproduct. Okay. So if you still uh, remember carefully, inside the uh, anode, uh, we shall have uh, Cl2 Cl minus, give Cl2 plus 2E minus. Uh, at the cathode, uh, we shall have uh, 2 h 2 o plus 3 minus e for H2 plus 2 H minus. So here you produce hydrogen. Okay, then this 2 OH minus is later um, add on to the sodium ion inside the brine. Okay, so together they will form an A for H. Okay, so uh, that is for how you deduce for uh, brine cell. So that is for number 39. Last but not least, we go to number 40. So the circuit of the diagram is uh, shown is set up below. So which of the reaction occur when uh, closing the switch? Closing the switch means uh, you, 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 you light up the cell. <laughs> okay. Now this is the anode of brass, which is a copper and zinc alloy. Yeah? Copper and zinc alloy. Okay. You use dilute sulfuric acid as the electrolyte and this is a cathode as the platinum. So which of the following will occur when closing switch? So uh, in here, uh, you shall have a Cu2 plus, plus 2E minus, gives you, you have E0 equals to positive 0 0.34. So uh, ZN2 plus, plus 2E minus, gives ZN. So E0 is equals to negative 0 0.76 volt. Okay, so, uh, when uh, when it acts as an anode, uh, so of course zinc will be discharged first. Why zinc will be discharged first? Because zinc is more negative. Uh, okay. Okay. So in here, it seems that uh, the section selection D, zinc is dissolved dissolved uh, preferably. So D is here, and then finally at the cathode. Okay, because you use uh, acid. Uh, so uh, it is H plus plus two E minus. If H2, E0 is equal to 0 volt, then you have uh, this uh, 2H2O plus 2E minus, leave a 2 OH minus plus H2. So E0 is equal to uh, negative 0 0.83 volt. Uh. So it seems that this is more positive, so water is selected to dissolve, so hydrogen is involved. Okay, so the answer in here is long T D. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so with that, that is all for the 40 objective questions that um, I would like to discuss with you for, uh, for section A. Okay, so uh, hopefully you can understand better after the explanation. Okay, so if there are still any questions that you can understand, you can uh, leave your comment below and then later I will try my best to explain to you. Okay. Okay, so that is for section A. Huh? So immediately we continue to section B. Huh? Okay, so let's begin section B. Okay, so section B for structure questions, we go to number one, standard electro potential at 298 Kelvin for some half cell are given below. So these are the standard electro potential. A, arrange V2 plus, Cl2 plus, Fe2 plus in order of decreasing stability. Decreasing stability. Okay, okay so uh, we are looking at this uh, equation where uh, we want the equilibrium to, to shift more to the right. Okay. So the more positive the E0 value, equilibrium will shift more to the right. So the most stable in here will be Fe2 plus. Okay. Followed by followed by V2 plus. And then the least stable in here will be Cr2 
two plus. So we want decreasing stability. So the answer will be Fe2 plus, V2 plus, and then Cr2 plus. Uh, the symbol can be ignored. Don't worry. Yeah. Actually, it's the other way around. Okay. okay. So, uh, so that is for A. Okay. B. Which of the ion has the most powerful oxidizing property? Explain your answer. So the one strongest oxidizing agent here will be you look for the E0 value, which is the most positive, and then you look at the left. So in here, it is the iron 3 plus. Why iron 3 plus? Because E0 value is the most positive. Okay, C. Explain the observation when Fe3 plus echo solution is added to Cl2 plus echo solution under standard condition. So you uh, try your best uh, to write out the uh, observation. So uh, the yellow solution by Fe3 plus turns green. Okay. And then one more, uh, as Cl Fe3 plus is reduced to Fe2 plus, while Cl2 plus is oxidized to Cl3 plus. Okay, so it turns to green, not only because of Fe2 plus, but also Cl3 plus. Uh, both of them are showing green color. Uh, okay, okay, and then the uh, you can use the uh, Enot value to deduce. Uh, okay, so Enot cell is equals to positive zero point seven seven minus zero point four one. You get positive one point one one volt. Okay, so uh, sorry, one point one eight, uh, not one point one one, one point one eight. Okay, so uh, that is for number one, A, B, and C. Then we go to number one, D. Arrange V three plus V two plus. Which ion is more stable? Explain your answer. So in here, since inner value is negative, means that V three plus is more stable than V two plus. Uh, okay, why? Because inner value is more uh, negative, equilibrium favor more to the left. So that is why V three plus is more stable. Okay, so that is for question number one. Uh. Then we goes to question number two. EMF of the cell for the following is given. So you have PV, PV2+, plus, H+, plus, H2, PT. So it's 0 0.13. Yeah? So based on the cell diagram above, write the overall equation for the reaction above. So how to write the overall equation? So uh, you have to know on how to write. <coughs> because it's PV2+, plus, uh, uh, P, uh, P, P, sorry. Everything at the right side in here is uh, oxidized, oxidation. And everything at the left side in here is reduction. So you shall have PB, B for PB2 plus plus 3 minus, and then uh, 2H plus plus 3 minus, give H2. So you can cancel, and then the overall equation, as you can see in here, will be PB uh, plus 2H plus, give H2 plus PB2 plus. Uh, state of matter is a must huh? because the question already give you the state of matter. So in here, we stress the state of matter. Huh? So try your best to write down the state of matter. B, calculate the standard electro potential of PV2 plus PV. So you have uh, E0 cell equals to E0 cathode minus E0 and not. So you have positive 0 0.13. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Typing error, huh? sorry, yeah. Positive 0 0.13, so can I erase here? Sorry for the typing error. So uh, PV2 plus PV is negative 0 0.13. So that is how you solve. Lah. You use the E0 cell equals the E0 cathode minus E0 and not. Okay. okay, three. Explain how the concentration of echo solution in anode and cathode will change if the cell discharge continuously. So uh, as you discharge continuously from the overall equation, equilibrium will keep on shift to the right. Okay, so as a result, concentration of H plus will decrease, concentration of PV2 plus will increase. Okay. So that is how you uh, deduce the concentration of PV2 plus and H plus and anode and cathode respectively. Okay. okay, so that is for number 2C. Okay, then we have 2D. Draw a label diagram indicates the flow of electron in the cell diagram. So in here, uh, 
sorry, uh, there is a little mistake in here. It's 0 0.1313, uh, 0.7613. Okay, so you have uh, set up hydrogen at one atmosphere, platinum electrode, hydrogen ion at concentration 1.0 mol per decimeter cube, 25 degrees Celsius. And then this is the lead plate. This is the uh, lead ion concentration, 25 degrees Celsius. So flow of electron is from the lead to the hydrogen. Uh. Okay, so uh, and then this is a salt bridge made from saturated KCl. So try to describe as fully as you can the diagram of how the electron flow uh, inside here because uh, you, you, that is your work. Uh, as a student, you try to describe as fully as you can, uh, including the reading inside this potentiometer also show uh, okay, uh, 0 0.13 in here. Okay. okay, so that is how you are going to construct uh, uh, and label energy diagram for the uh, how to measure the standard electric potential for the lab. Okay, okay. So with that, that is how we solve for question number two. Okay, then we go to question number three. Hydrogen oxygen fuel cell currently is used in generate the voltage about zero point eight five at volume uh, at the temperature hundred degrees Celsius. Write a reaction equation at cathode and not an overall equation for hydrogen oxygen fuel cell above. Okay, so uh, in here you have to know lah, uh, what is the what happened in cathode and anode. So at cathode you have uh, O2 plus 2H2O plus 4E minus give 4OH minus, and then anode H2 plus 2H minus give 2H2O. So uh, overall equation is 2H2 plus O2 give 2H2O. Uh, uh, in here you can see that uh, overall equation is multiplied by 2. Lah. So you get two, you get four, then you get uh, four, then you get four. So uh, four electron cancel with four electron, four OH minus cancel with four OH minus, uh, four H2O cancel with two H2O. So that is how. Uh, teacher, is there any alternative way to get this? Uh, actually, there is. Uh, now, this is the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell under alkaline condition. If there, uh, You can also write in acidic condition, where the acidic condition is two H plus plus... Uh, 2e minus give h2 uh, sorry uh, h2 give uh, 2h plus plus 2e minus huh? and then for the cathode in here it is a uh, 2h uh, 4h plus plus o2 plus 4e minus give a uh, 2h2o okay so uh, the whole equation in here, you multiply by 2. Okay, so you have 2H2, 4H plus, 4E minus. So you cancel, you cancel. So you still get the same equation, uh, 2H2 plus O2 to 2H2. So uh, no matter in acidic or in alkaline, both of them are usually accepted in STPM. Okay. Okay, so that is for number 3A. Then we go to 3B. Calculate the voltage of the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell under standard condition. So uh, there are two, met uh, as I show you in here, there are two methods in here. So uh, if you use the alkaline condition, okay, if you use the alkaline condition, uh, you get E reduction minus E oxidation, positive 0 0.40 minus negative 0 0.83, you get positive 1.23. As for this one, uh, is uh, inert cell equals to uh, positive 1.23. Uh, minus zero volt. Uh. So you still get positive 1.23. Uh. So uh, no matter which method you use, so at the end of the day, you still get a positive 1.23 volt. Okay. Okay, number three. What is the advantages of the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell compared to other conventional chemical methods? So in here you see water water is produced uh, so the energy is clean uh, okay and the side product in here is non-toxic so uh, environmental friendly okay so that uh, because you only produce water at the end of the day so uh, these are the two advantages when you use the uh, hydrogen oxygen as your fuel cells in here okay okay so with that that is how you solve for question number three Immediately we go to question number four. 
The following electrochemical cell may be used to determine the value of the stability constant product. So SN, SN2+, X mole per decimeter cube, Cu2+, 1.0 mole per decimeter cube. The cell is built in a tin electrode immersed in the echo solution of X mole of tin 2 ion in equilibrium with the echo solution uh, 1.0 containing sulfate ion and a copper electrode measure at 0, 1.0 of aqueous copper sulfate. So the center electrode potential is positive 0 0.71 at 25 degrees Celsius. So number one, write the ionic equation for the reaction occur in the electrochemical cell. So in here, you shall have Cu2 plus plus Zsn give Cu plus Sn2 plus. Okay. So uh, in here, uh, as you can see, tell from the diagram, this is the reduced species. Uh, okay. And this is the oxidized species. So that is why you have Cu2 plus plus uh, 3 minus give Cu and then Sn2 plus, uh, Sn give Sn2 plus plus 3 minus. So that is why you have this one, okay? Uh, and if possible, try to write the state of matter lah, because question already give you the state of matter. So uh, you better write down the state of matter if the question already given to you, okay? Okay, we calculate the molarity of the tin 2 ion in the electrochemical cell. So first of all, you need to calculate the inert cell first. Huh? So the inert cell will be uh, positive 0 0.34 minus 0 0.14. So you get uh, this one is equals to uh, positive 0 0.48. Huh? So you substitute into the Nernst equation. So you get uh, positive 0 0.71 equals to positive 0 0.48 minus 0 0.059 over 2 log Sn2 plus. Okay, equation, substitution, and then answer. Uh, so SN2 plus, you have 1.6 times 10 power of negative 8 mole per decimeter cube. Okay, so answer one mark. Uh, okay, so uh, hopefully you can get the same answer as I do in here. So that is for question number 4B. Yeah? Okay, then we have uh, last but not least, question number for C. So explain the effects of E cell if the concentration of Cu2 plus increased to 2.0. So in here, you expect that the, as concentration Cu2 plus increased, equilibrium shift to the right. Therefore, E cell increase. Okay, okay so uh, with that, that will be all for the uh, question number four. And I think I'm going to stop the lesson for today. So uh, I guess I'll see you all on the um, next lesson tomorrow. So uh, with that, I shall uh, end my lesson for today. Okay. Okay.